to get Maximum Dark Dave. Oh my god. In the future. Actually, uh, we're now a 14 part crossover. <laughs> I don't even need to fight them. Bye. Alright, so we're back, Space Cadets, and I'm saying Space Cadets because, well, he's playing the game and concentrating right now. How you doing, Space Cadets? We don't talk too often, and I have a couple things to tell you about life. First of all, purple beams are cool. They taste like, uh, they taste like grape. That's a good thing to know. A grape laser. Uh, and you need all the Lorg children. Without the lore, you won't understand the world and how it works. Like, drug birds will give you a steroid and turn you into a weapon, super soldier weapon, with a gun arm. They stole some of their ideas from Dr. Light, but you know how it is. They trade. They're cool now. I mean, after, like, the divorce settlement and everything. Yes, Dr. Light actually married an entire species of bird people. It was weird. I'm very confused. <laughs> Again, I, but I, I'm I just do... trying to make sense of this lore, man. I'm, I'm, I, you know how this game is. I have to fill in the details. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I, I do remember, like, a uh, long time ago, I was at, like, a, I'm gonna say Babbage's, and uh, I, I found Super Metroid, and I guess I asked someone what it was, because I was looking for Mega Man, and he was like, oh, here's, you know, Super Metroid is a great game. It's, like, Mega Man only, like, way harder. That is not a good description. Like, I, I, okay, it is a little like Mega Man, but, you know. Oh, I got both of them with the Super Bomb. Or Super Missile. Super Bombs are a different thing. Uh, Sam is just looking at his armor and it's just like, Oh god, it's pulsating. Pulsating with life. I just imagine... Uh, I like, oh god. You know, you can't do this for too long in actual real life either. Like, that can actually mess up your vision. But... I imagine so, actually. Yeah, like, uh, like I in video really games, thought about it. Like in video games, we take this stuff for granted because video games. Well, also we are a super space person. Yeah, we are a super space person, voiced by uh, Jennifer Hale. That's true. She supplies all those uh, little grunts that Samus does. Uh, you know, and like you know, like this was a and if you this want was to after Metal Gear Solid too. Well, Jennifer Hale's been in the voice acting game since the early 90s, at least. Like, uh, so. I was going to say, as far as like video game cred goes, she got a lot of it from being in Metal Gear Solid. She was in a lot of animation, too. She's actually the voice of Black Cat in uh, Spider-Man the Anime series. That's awesome. Yeah. If you just uh, want to like that. But I think she got most of her cred from Fem Shep, if I'm being honest. Well, yeah, that, that, that would come years after like Metal Gear and this. Yeah. Um, you know, that's when I first everybody started to just mention her name because yeah, and she did a pretty good job in that game. I I definitely enjoyed it until that ending, and then I gave up on that entire universe, as everyone did. Yeah, which is sad because they were building it up. They had all this great lore, and like seriously, it had a lot of good lore in it. Like, if you wanted good lore, you were like, yeah, Mass Effect. I love you, Mass Effect. They even explained changed game mechanics in universe. Oh, yeah, this is what the Shadow Pirates look like when you <laughs> uh, try to fight them normally. Oh, uh, wow. Without, without the visor on, yeah. Yeah, I can see why that would be a problem. So, we're, we're gonna go. Uh, I really wanna refill our missiles. So save, save, save. Save stations do not refill our missiles. What does refill our missiles? Missile stations uh, okay. and power-ups. All right, fair. So get a power-up or get in, a missile In 2D station. Metroid games, here we go. They put those boxes. They were good. In 2D Metroids, the save stations do not replenish your life. Uh, fair. But we are going to save because now we collected a bunch of power-ups in there. Yep. So I assume we're going to take on something big, challenging, and uh, possibly life-threatening in a way? You got it. It's been a little while since we fought Flagra, after all. Flagra, who sounds like the arch-enemy of Mothra, but dumber. <laughs> Flagra. Flagra. So, we blow that up, and then if we switch over to the wave beam... And the thermal visor shows us that there is a conduit here. 
Reactivate the door. And get over here. And a morph ball through there. And morph ball through here. And <laughs> real fast half, like. And half the, the and half moves. the like the morph ball bridge somebody set up. <laughs> now I'm just like Yeah, man. we're like a weird little tunnel, so uh We found a pile of rocks. Ah of course, the greatest of all to me, the pile of rocks. It's a living pile of rocks, isn't it? Yeah. We didn't come out here for ordinary rocks, did we? No, of course not. Oh god, it's Kryptonite! I can finally kill Superman! My one goal! Samus is wanting that. Samus is pest control business. She wants the cred for finally wiping out Kryptonians. It's true. Actually, oh god. The new Superman villain in Bendis' comic entire motivation is to do that. Yeah, which... Uh... Cool, so this is Thardis. Thardis. He sounds special. He's made of rock, and we gotta find our rock lord. Animated, sentient, creature of stone, charged with phase on. Uh, let's get our rock lore. Our rock lore. Not our rock lord, though. So we can see his weak point <laughs> with the thermal visor. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it gets all messed up when you, uh, <laughs> expose it. And if I aim just right, get a super missile, knock it out. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, starts to roll around. I'm just gonna, like, hide. I'm just gonna hide from that thing? Hide from the Thardis. The Thardis. Yeah, th this always struck me as kind of a, a strange boss. It is a strange looking boss. Well, because, like, boss. the Flagra is a giant monster. It, to tell you the truth, like, the living pile of rocks who can float is kind of a weird boss idea. Admittedly, because also the bodies don't make it. Like, if it was also described. Like, they could have also described it as, like, a, a species. Yeah. Like, a colony species or something. Like, you know, it's made up of many different rocks who form together and work together. Yeah, well, the Space Pirates have apparently been uh, conducting tests on this. Hey Ridley, why is it crane? I made a rock monster. Okay, why? I don't yeah, know. This it one's in like a weird a position. Idea. There we go. Well, because if we look at where we are, we're in quarantine cave. So they made this thing and decided to dump it here. <laughs> they were just like, "This is too dumb for us." I guess. Yeah. Kind of a weird choice. Well, because you know that crane is not in this game, right? Yeah. Yeah. There is a, like, fully rendered 3D model of, uh, Kray that didn't make it into the game. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. You can get more power-ups out of the rocks, that's why I shot them. Fair. Yeah, it's thought that he would have been a boss inside, uh, one of the later areas. Yeah, I, I got... He, he looks really cool. He's very unique. I, I do dig, like, the little crab claw hands. Yeah. Or, I guess, the hot dog finger hands. Yeah. There, that, that, here's the thing. I make fun, but it is a nice idea for him. The camera, like, got stuck on him. Oh, yeah, he's, like, summoning a storm. We're fighting the elements. Hey, mechanically, he's a good boss. He just seems like a strange idea for Metroid. Yeah. Especially because Metroid usually does, like, the sci-fi horror things, and this guy... <laughs> this guy is very much fantasy. Yeah, well, like, yeah that's feel... what it is. I'm, I'm actually glad that after all these years I've been able to, like, put my finger on it. Dude, like, I feel like he's about to tell me he's depressed that the nothing is coming. And then my horse is dying in that really, swamp. I, I thought he was about to invade Azeroth. No, 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 he's clearly depressed about the nothing and doesn't want to do anything. Excuse me, my horse is dying in a swamp. I can't go on any... Okay. 
Uh, sorry, I just remembered my childhood all of a sudden yeah. in all its relatively 80s glory. That's right, so the bloom lighting is not quite as extreme in the original version of this game. And you can really see it here. Oh, God. Uh, I was having a safe spot. Roll! Samus, use rollout! Thardis, use rollout. It's uh, not very effective. Uh, attack it uh, for a second there, I thought it was its butt. Samus is like steel type. Samus is a uh, steel. I guess beef steel electricity, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, steel. Mm, steel psychic? No, no. Still want to save. Let's see, I got 41 missiles left, so I'm actually in really good shape for uh, just blasting this guy with super missiles. Fair. Just. Look. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, except he raised his uh, arms up. Raise your it. flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, like, sucks everything back into himself before the last leg of the fight. Oh, wow. Like, he's just like. Yo! Thor! <laughs> he's now the <laughs> god of rock thunder? Yes, Thunder Rock. He's the true Rock Lord. Uh, admittedly, like, Giant Monster... Rock Battle Monsters, of the Rock Lords. Oh, uh, God. Rock Lords is still one of the dumbest gimmicks the toy lines I've ever seen, at least a Transformers. Yeah, what was it? It was a Transformers gimmick? Uh, not... Uh, no, it was actually a GoBots gimmick. Okay. They were part of the GoBots line in Japan under the... Alright, in Japan, the GoBots, the toys, are under the name Machine Robo. I don't know if the Rock Lords were technically part of Machine Robo, but we'll say they were. They were definitely from the same lines and same design team. And Bandai owns all the molds, while Hasbro owns all the characters and concepts. It's a very weird situation GoBots has found itself in. So, and that, and that brings us to today with our Battle of the Rock Lords. <laughs> yes, the Rock Lords, the greatest of all Transformers, right next to Mysterions. If you're wondering what Mysterion's on, don't worry about it. They are special. And with that, <laughs> the Rock Lord has fallen. Curse you, Rock Lord! <laughs> oh, that's a nice little like animation yeah. <laughs> at the end. Ooh. She, she escaped everything, like, having it fall on him. <laughs> and then that. I have... We got it. And now it just ended up flattening her more into that thing. Spider ball. Spider, spider ball. ball. Does whatever a spider ball does. There we go. The magnetic rail system is now scanned for us. Spider ball. Spider Ooh. ball. Does whatever a spider ball can. Done. Climbs up walls, onto ceilings, just like that. Look out! And here comes spider ball. Spider ball. A combination of speed ball and spider man. Too much for this world. Uh, but it's a cool looking ball, but it actually makes. That is. The way it flattens inside, like, uh... Put, I, I yeah, just, don't think too hard about it. I try not to, but it keeps... But it's there, and I gotta ask. <laughs> and Thardis dropped so many power-ups that we're, like, maxed out again. Max power. Max power. Max power. The one, the only. And we can go back to Magmore. Ooh... Gonna warm up after this cool, cool mountain. This cool, refreshing, cool. This frigid, uncaring place. This frigid, uncaring place to, uh, overlooked by evil alien penguins. And let's see. So, if you're an HP Lovecraft fan, I hope you appreciate that reference. 
But I think we probably should end it here for now. Because we reached a save point and we did get something. Yeah. Thardis is defeated. And? and? Now that we have the spider ball, there's even more places to go to, Space Cadets. Now I wonder if we'll get the Venom Ball. Next time on Hal and Dave's Trip to Jupiter. Oh, you want the Venom Ball? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see.